typical numbers. And since December 1st, we've had 33.8 inches of snow accumulating. So just a snow check as we're about halfway through February. Average high today is 34. Our high today is probably going to go down at 17. I don't think we will get back up to that. If anything, this low is even going to change over the next couple of hours. Well, right now it's 15 at O'Hare. It is cloudy. Look at the wind out of the north at about 22 miles per hour. Temperatures all around the area right now. You can see 9 in Madison, 9 in Moline, and that's what le is leading me to believe our temperatures are still going to be falling yet. 19 in Hammond, 17 at Midway. Look at this, 8 in Woodstock, 8 in Walworth. I think the rest of us will see our temperatures drop back and then maybe recover just a little bit back up into the teens this afternoon. But our wind chills around the area right now feels like it's three below at O'Hare, five below. That's your wind chill out in Aurora. Tempcast, you see, 7 o'clock this morning, temperatures in the single digits. And then they're back in the single digits here this evening, too. As for the snow that is falling, we continue to watch those lake effect bands, especially over on the western side of uh, Michigan. There you see on the eastern side of Lake Michigan anyway. And this is going to continue through the day. So the winter weather advisory is in effect. Porter County, this includes those of you, Valparaiso, Ogden Dunes, Chesterton, as our future radar continues to highlight those bands of lake effect snow, which are going to be earmarked for northern Indiana. And they're looking at as much as maybe a half a foot or more of snow. I think these numbers might even be a little bit underdone over in southwest Michigan. The cold is going to be the real big story here on the Illinois side today and right through the weekend as well. So this morning, here on the Illinois side, it's been mainly light snow producing a basic dusting or just a fresh glaze. Blustery and cold, that Michigan snow does continue into this afternoon. Those temperatures drop back into the single digits this morning, recover back up into the teens this afternoon. Tomorrow, some occasional flurries, highs in the mid-20s right out there. I want to bring in our Dan Ryan camera, our tower camera. You can see what's happening closer into the city. Not a whole lot. Light traffic volume. And, of course, we have decent driving conditions. Now, we have our on-the-move camera there. At the Studio top. and cracking us up. Plus, writer and TV producer Linda Bloodworth Thomas. She talks about her amazing career and her new Broadway musical, First Wives Club. Fires have largely fallen apart. And there is a new warning this morning about the threat from ISIS here at home. This comes as Congress considers the president's request to formally authorize military force against ISIS militants. ABC's Bazi Kanani is following the latest developments. February 22nd. And you can watch our special live coverage of the Chicago Auto Show. Join Roz, Jim Rose, Mark Jan Greco, Cheryl Scott, and Jerry Taft. This Saturday at 6 p.m. right here on ABC7. I don't think they put sticker prices on any of those cars. Probably for a reason. <laughs> you have to ask. You can't afford it, probably. Uh, 447, let's do weather and traffic on the 7s, Trace. All right. Well, good morning. Well, if you're getting out there in your car this morning, do be aware that we have had a little light dusting of some snow here on the Illinois side. Over on the Indiana side, it's been more than a dusting, and it probably is going to continue to be. Visibility is going to be a concern, especially as you go across northern Indiana where winter weather advisories are in effect until 6 o'clock here later today. Temperature-wise, we're in the teens, and these numbers will still drop yet this morning. Ross? Lose to those hated Canucks last night. It was OMG, I am sure, whatever selfie night at the UC. We go right. Great deal, too. Smith designers do their best work when they can come and see your space, and we make and good morning, everybody. I'm Sorrell Brown. Good morning. I'm Judy Sue. Thanks for joining us on this Thursday. We did have a bit of snow out there overnight. Let's get right to Tracy Butler with her first alert. Yeah, enough to just produce a bit of a glaze out there. But over in northern Indiana, that's where we continue to see these bands of lake effect snow that are going to be reinforced much of the day. And what you have to remember about this is just almost without warning, this can reduce visibility very, very quickly. 10 to McHenry, 10 Lake Bluff, now 13 degrees out at O'Hare, and you look at that wind chill, and most of them are at or below zero. Feels like it's seven below out at O'Hare, nine below is your wind chill in DeKalb. Good. We have no delays to report on any of them. Judy, back to you. Thank you, Roz. Developments now in Chicago's Little League controversy. Jackie Robinson West is stripped of its championship title, accused of violating residency rules. This morning, some people are planning action. Eyewitness News reporter Jessica D'Onofrio joins us now live from Jackie Robinson Park. Jess? 
Well, Judy, we've been hearing a lot from Jackie Robinson West players in the last 24 hours, and while they're very disappointed...